Now, the, the, this is a big danger, for, as, as deadly dangerous for, for Israel from the point of view of the Netanyahu government. The Israeli economy is more and more deeply involved in companies that run enterprises on the West Bank. Jim Rickards, a respected investment advisor and author, has closely examined the connection between the Hamas conflict and the potential for an ensuing economic crisis. Following the outbreak of the Hamas war, the Israeli shekel experienced a decline of around 3.1%, dropping to 3.955 shekels per dollar. Meanwhile, the euro also experienced a decrease of 0.19% against the dollar with a rate of 1.0566. However, the dollar index, which measures the value of the U.S. currency against six other currencies, showed a slight decline of 0.16% after initially trading higher. In October 2023, the Russian ruble reached approximately 102 units per U.S. dollar due to Hamas's attack on Israel. An important observation made by Rickards is that the Russian economy is likely to outperform the U.S. economy, indicating potential shifts in global economic dynamics. Furthermore, the International Monetary Fund predicts Russia's economy will outpace the U.S. in growth this year. There are several uncertainties surrounding the situation. Goldman Sachs warns that the Israel-Hamas conflict can potentially impact economic growth and inflation in the Eurozone. The ongoing war could lead to lower regional trade, tighter financial conditions, higher energy prices, and decreased consumer confidence. On Africa, the Israel-Hamas war presents significant economic and political challenges for African policymakers and investors, potentially disrupting already vulnerable economies and creating new security risks. The question is, are you prepared for a financial crisis? Do you have safety havens? Give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Unleash your mind by watching the next video.